All right, guys, I'm back at Walmart once again for another toy hunting episode. And, of course, really nothing new since the last time I've been here. It's all the same stuff you guys saw in the last episode. But I took a close look at Goldberg here, and that face print is not that good. I mean, it's not bad, but I feel like it, it could have done a lot better with that. I mean, look at that. That just, man. And I have no clue what I'm hearing. It's like I hear some howling somewhere. I guess it's like a toy dog or something. I don't know, but, yeah. They really, they tried with this figure, but it's like every one of them, the Goldberg face just looks off. This one even looks worse. It looks like he's wearing, like, mascara. It look, looks like they use a different, like, a different head, head mold. They just didn't paint it right. At least the Stone Cold ones all seem to look decent. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like everything's still here from the last time I was here. And surprisingly, there actually are some figures that are on clearance. And when I get the chance to go check out the clearance aisle, I'll show you guys. But so far... Still have the WrestleMania, you know, battle packs and basics here in the main aisle. Hopefully they'll get moved clearance too. Because it's, you know, actually, so I kind of spoiled this in, in clearance, but I'm going to go there shortly. Uh, Port Van Balor, after losing to the Fiend at SummerSlam, wearing this exact same attire, nobody wants this figure now. <laughs> it's the Ultimate Warrior back there. Got a couple of tones. A Tony Nese figure back there behind Elias. Henry Rice, so at least those figures are still here since the last time I, I picked them up. So that, that's really about it. And so far, the only elites available are Braun and Roman. Don't surprise me. Nobody seems to want them, so I may pick them up. Uh, I'm not even going to bother asking an employee if Pat Patterson's even, you know, if they have a case with them or not. I'm just not going to ask for all that. Whatever is that noise, it's annoying. Now this I want to show you guys last week I forgot to. This is pretty cool. A nice 35th anniversary uh, Team and T four pack based on their original looks from the original comics. Of course, they're all in black and white, but wear red bandanas to symbolize that they all were red in unity before they got their different colors, with the exception of Raphael. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna pick this up or not. I may eventually if it's still here. I like this much better than what we have here with the current Turtle series. I mean, I don't hate the new Turtles, I'm just not too crazy about it. If you like new Turtles, that's cool, just not my thing. And then, not too much else, uh, Power Rangers, I haven't really watched Beast Morphers, it looks like an okay series, and now look at this Giants Megazord, that doesn't come apart, it's just like an articulated Megazord, the ones you want that come apart, obviously, is this one, be this one down here, at least I think, I once again haven't watched the show. And, you know, that's really about it for Power Rangers. And then for Marvel, you know what? Since this figure's still here, I'm really tempted to buy it today. Spider-Man with the with six arms. Before he became a giant spider. You know, humanoid mutant thing. But that's pretty cool. Plus, it's the only one that doesn't include a builder figure piece, so I'm not going to collect this set anyway. There's nobody else in the set I really would want. Except maybe the symbiote Spider-Man, but I don't see that one anywhere. I see everybody else. That's in the set, but I don't see that one. But other than that, because you know, here's Black Cat, got Gwenpool from their series. Let's see, you got Sinest Sinister. I can't even read what that says. It says Sinister Villains, but don't have a name on it. Marvel's Tombstone, that's his name. Okay, I'm sorry if you guys can't read that. It looks like Night Thrasher's here. Puma, Sable, Silver Sable, sorry, not to be cute with the Wrestler Sable. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what that barking is. I'm pretty sure it's over on the other side of the toy aisle. <laughs> so, very tempted to pick this up, along with the two Elites. I'm going to, of course, put these Battle Packs back. And then I think I'm going to take a quick look over at the Hot Wheels, and then I'm going to try to get the clearance if there's not a lot of people there, but I... Uh, yeah, take a look at some other stuff over here, of course. Don't care about Fortnite. But these are kind of cool. Overwatch. Now, Overwatch I never played, but... I remember Overwatch was a big thing, and I'm sure there's still it's still a lot of fans for it. I thought Overwatch was much cooler. Especially, for, a lot of the characters that are Overwatch were cool, like Tracer, and, and D.Va, and, and May, Mercy. I just kind of know more about it just because, you know, the fan art that gets posted online. <laughs> but, yeah... Pretty cool. If I was in Overwatch, I'd probably collect those Scooby Doo figures. I'm not gonna look too much at those because I like Scooby Doo, but I don't think I'll collect any Scooby Doo toys. 
course, stuff like Legos and Playmobil, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'd buy it so much, but if I wanted it, I would. <laughs> Probably I would have wanted it as a kid for sure. I used to love dinosaurs when I was a kid. Now I'm more just, you know, I'm more into, you know, stuff like paleopathology. Yeah, I can't speak. But yeah, that, that's really about here and about it in the uh, toy aisle. Of course, still got plenty of Toy Story stuff. But, um, yeah, that's about it for the figure. So I'm about to go check out the Hot Wheels here in a moment. And then if I can, I'll show you guys the clearance. Okay, now we're in the diecast car aisle. This was these are pretty cool. I saw another YouTuber show these off. These Coca-Cola M2 machines, diecast cars. Now, of course, the price for me, while it's, I could justify it, I don't know if I'll buy it. This cool 1970 Mustang Boss 302 with a Coca-Cola um, deco. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Of course, got all the different cars here. Plymouth Barracuda. Uh, let's see what else they might have. I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else besides. Okay, Chevrolet, Bel Air. I, I'll have to pull it down. Yeah, that's really about it for the Coke cars and some Coke um, diesel semi trucks. So, yeah, some cool stuff. Matchboxes. Now this right here I saw in another video and I was like, man, I'm trying to find it. I was trying to look in the main Hot Wheels section, but here it is. It's, it's very colorful 67 Mustang Coupe. I may pick it up because I am a Mustang fan. And you know what? I don't want the same Mustangs over and over. How many times can I pick up a red, black, green, or blue Mustang over and over? Of course, got some cool American Legends cars here. That's very nice. Deadpool taco truck. <laughs> and of course, really just about the same here. Oh, hey, Roman Reigns is back. I think I might have saw Roman the last time I was here. I don't remember. Yeah, I think it's really the same trucks that were here the same last time I was here. And then just the main section. And then over back over here, there's a a display because I guess Hot Wheels Muff is coming up here soon so yeah I'm probably not gonna look through that just because it seems to always be a lot of people around it I'm just I'm lucky I can actually film the toy all for once without people getting in my way so I don't know I just thought I would come here film this part real quick oh this is pretty cool some miniature non-transforming transformers okay <laughs> yeah these are mostly import cars so you know, pretty cool, I guess. Um, yeah, I th think that'll be about it for the diecast car section. Oh, it's getting dark. That means the sun's coming out and they have to use the natural lighting. Oh, yeah. Thought I'd come and take a look at all this real quick before I try to hit the clearance up. And if there's nobody in the collector's aisle, I'll try to check it out along with made the trading cards. Just to make this a, maybe an interesting episode. But I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. All right, so in the clearance section, I see Triple H, Sasha Banks, and surprisingly, one Scott Hall. No Undertaker, but a crap ton of Triple H and Sasha, for sure. Now, it says they're $13, but out of curiosity, I've seen people see, get these for much cheaper. Even one person got these for, like, some figures for three cents. So I'm almost curious if they're still $13 they've been marked down, so I'll probably grab a couple of them maybe in a moment and see if I can scan them. And still got some battle packs and clearance. No more basics, though. Hmm. All right, time for a bonus Dollar General hunt. I haven't done this in a while because I don't go Dollar General as much, but check out these little short card uh, Hot Wheels. I've only seen these maybe at Kmart in the past, but never, never anywhere else. So far, doesn't like there's anything too interesting. I mean, this looks pretty cool. And some standard card bag Hot Wheels. Oh yeah, also there's one I forgot to pick up when I was at Walmart. I'll explain the video, but uh, at the end of the video.
six, looks pretty cool. But I'm not unfortunate not seeing a whole lot of stuff I want that I'm really interested in. I mean, I do like this. Huh? Oh, this is pretty cool too. I don't know. I may have to pick some of these up. Not seeing a whole lot else that I really care for. <laughs> this one's pretty funny. <laughs> Skull Crusher. Skull Crusher Manala. Finisher of the Moose. Uh, Finisher of the Miz. <laughs> Street Wiener. It's a hot dog. <laughs> And I think that's all I really see that I care about. Uh, that Nissan Skyline looks pretty cool. And they got some Avengers themed Hot Wheels, Star Wars, some generic Hot um, Cars. And not too much else. And then over here, I don't see a whole lot. I don't see any action figures, surprisingly. I mean, not that I expect too much of Dollar General as it is. Besides, made some Transformers, but I see it's Family Dollar as well. Hmm, their new Grimlock was green. Oh wait, he's not. This is Grimlock. The real Grimlock. Oh, and so they got some of these. They sell these at Family Dollar as well. Megatron and Optimus. Hmm. Looks like that's really about it for figures. Unless it's more in their aisle. Well, they have these as well. And then there's everything else is dolls. Like the Dollar General bar of these. My Little Pony and all that other stuff. Hmm. And they have some toys over there, but it doesn't like there's really too much. Or maybe that Hulk. If I can zoom in. Hmm, I can a little. Yeah, just a little. Oh, look. That's a toy gun. Yeah, yo. <laughs> They'll ban Sir Bill they won't ban toy guns, but you know, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> uh, that's honestly about it. Well, this is new. They started selling Legos here at Dollar General. I mean, honestly, not the expensive sets, but still. Got some good, decent selection of stuff here. Hmm. Especially when you consider all the knockoff Legos they had here for the longest time, which I don't see anymore. Oh, they're actually they're up there somewhere, I think. Somewhere. Besides the Creo. Okay. I mean, different for sure. I look at the Hulk. Hmm. All right. Just thought I'd take a look at these real quick. All right, guys. Last stop. I'm gonna be checking out Atwoods. That's right. I said Atwoods for anyone who doesn't remember Atwoods from when I did a video here back in like 2013. Check out their Hot Wheels selection. I thought, why not? I picked some cool stuff at. Dollar General that I'll show here, you know, at the end of the video, but got some cool stuff here. It's cool three packs. I'm not gonna look through everything because the way it's the way it's set up, they're not on pegs, they're on shelves. So I might just do that stuff off camera since I got so much stuff as it is. But yeah, good selection of Hot Wheels here. It's got some Matchbox even. You know, more control cars as well. And of course, since this is a country farm you know, theme store. Got some tractors. Got the horses in the back. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say that song. I don't even like that song. My coworkers like to sing it too much. Yeah. 
or wrap it or whatever. You can't tell me nothing. <laughs> no. But yeah, look at all the toys here that Woods, which by the way, this Atwoods is going to be moving here soon, so maybe one of the last chances I have an opportunity to, to do a video here before they move to their new location in a few months' time, whenever they get their new location finished up. I'm trying to have the next door Dollar General, but they'll be moving down a little further away to their own spot, but they'll still be in Park City, of course. So I look at more toys over here. Of course, there's more Hot Wheels at the end, surprisingly. They used to have a Hot Wheels like dump bin but I think I got rid of it but yeah I got some hot ones over here that are on pegs including some Disney ones that's pretty cool good old Mickey Mouse there's Goofy and I see many and Donald and Pluto all them back there Chip and Dale and that looks like it's about it I'm not gonna pick these up but I thought I'd take a look at them real quick that fun dongo is oh wow goofy goof dongo oh ho. <laughs> finger lens remember those yeah the hottest toys from like two years ago that are not even worth anything probably and that's mostly about it so a few more toys over here on this side but it's mostly like preschool age stuff you know toys for kids but hey that's some air hockey that's cool some more Toy Story related stuff here. Lots of toy guns, of course, because, well, it is Atwoods. It is a country themed store. And even good old ba got Barbie over here towards the end. Not really much to show here at Atwoods. They don't sell figures, sadly. They did sell turtles at one time, but I was a, had the figures they showed, and they had, like, stuff from the 2012 Ninja Turtles series and the movies. But oh well. Thought I'd show this all off real quick. Hey, even a drone. Cool. Alright, so, um. I will see you guys back in my house for the pickups. I don't know if I'm going to get anything here at Atwoods, but I got a good decent amount of stuff at Walmart and at Dollar General of all places. Because of that, why not? Let's, let's do more than a, a Walmart hunt for once. But yeah, that's about all, guys. Now, of course, look at this stuff real quick. <laughs> get her done. <laughs> Yeehaw, yeah, I'm the champion. Look at me, I got my cows. I shot horses in the back, but I got my dog in the back. <laughs> I forgot what this guy, this guy looks happy, and then right here he's like, eh, that doesn't look appropriate. <laughs> well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my toy hunting video. Of course, you know, just another hunt at Walmart, but I thought I'd add Dollar General and Atwoods for the heck of it, because I haven't been to those two places in a while. Especially as I mentioned, the Atwoods is eventually getting ready to move, and I don't know if I'll have a chance to hit them up as much when they move to the new, the new spot, because they won't be as close to me, but maybe I will in the future. But anyways, uh, I digress. I had those in for the heck of it because I don't really go anywhere else. I haven't been to Target in a while because Target's been... I don't know. Seems like everybody's kind of having a hard time finding anything new at Target. Unless you're lucky to find the new Ultimate Edition figures. But I doubt they're my targets. But I don't know. Maybe I'll try maybe the next month or so to try to go to Target. But I'll just stick with Walmart for now since, you know, Walmart seems to be getting a lot of new stuff. Of course, you know, I'll show you the Walmart pickups. And, you know, I'll sprinkle stuff at Dollar General. Didn't buy anything at Atwood's. But I thought I'd do a bit of outs for the heck of it, as I mentioned. So, again, Dollar General bought a total of four Hot Wheels. I bought two of the regular carded, you know, Hot Wheels, plus four of the ones with the shorter card backs. So, first got this cool right here, uh, Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. And a lot of these are police car themed. <laughs> I just thought, yeah, they're cool. Why not? And then this one right here, the 2010 Camaro SS. Another pretty cool looking car. But when I saw those short carded ones, which I've only seen before at Kmart, which we don't all grab Kmart where I live, and I think this is the same one that they get in Europe, so it's cool we're actually getting these here in the U.S., so, and Dollar General, I've never seen them at Walmart or Target, at least I don't think I've seen them at Target, but no, I haven't seen them at Walmart. Anyway, he's got this Dodge Charger stock car, pretty cool. And another one, uh, another Dodge, a 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Then, hey, another police car here, a Lamborghini Count Hawk police car. And finally, well, I was going to pick up that Ford Mustang I saw at, at a Walmart that had the uh, tie-dye, you know, multi-colors. I forgot to grab it, but I saw this Dollar General, so I was like, you know what? Hey, got my Mustangs. 
this little Mustang funny car. So I was like, you know what, why not? At least something must be related. Hopefully I'll find that one at Walmart again eventually. I really forgot to grab it. I was in a hurry to grab the stuff I bought. Plus, as you guys saw, I went to clearance aisle. Uh, I was going to try to do a video where I was, part of the video was I was going to scan the, like the Triple H and Sasha Banks figures to see if they were actually lower than 13 bucks. Sadly, they weren't. But I tried because there's always employees and our customers are around. So... Yeah, and surprisingly, the clearance aisle was pretty busy at Walmart. Every time I wanted to film there, I was like, man, it's like, I actually got better luck filming the toy aisle for once, filling the figures and the huggles than I did the clearance. Plus, the clearance wasn't really much to look at. There was a bunch of, bunch of pool toys, you know, since summer's getting ready to end. So, I guess, besides a few figures and very little else, they didn't really have much in the clearance. But, hopefully, those go down in price. Because, even though I already have the WrestleMania Elites... If those went down to like three dollars, or heck, like some people are are looking <laughs> for, you know, fairs for three cents, I definitely buy them and have them in my loose collection. But yeah, whatever. So of course, now I'll get to the figures. These guys, I hope you already saw that I picked them up. But you know, these only two of at least sixty eight I didn't buy the last time I was at Walmart. Of course, Braun Strowman, uh, one half of the Rock Tag Team Champions. Of course, back of the box. You know, shows him playing that big old bass. Of course, has the money bank briefcase alongside the base. So I was like, why not? I'll buy it. I don't have that many for a uh, Ron Strowman in his current form. And then, of course, Roman Reigns with the Universal Championship. And then the two extra sets of hands the Superman Punch hand and the, you know, the Shaka hands. And then, back of the box. Yeah, box is a little beat up, but I was like, whatever. It's, the front of the box is okay. And I don't really collect for conditions. As long as the box isn't too beat up, I don't really care. And finally, I've been wanting to buy this figure for a while, and you guys saw that I that I did show it on camera again, and I was like, you know what, I finally had to get it. And one of the few Marvel Legends figures, in fact, it's the only Marvel Legends figure I have, because I have never really started collecting Marvel Legends, at least till now, and I don't know how hardcore I'll get, but anyways, here's Spider-Man, we had the two extra sets of arms, before he, I believe he turned into a giant humanoid spider when he was trying to... As it says on the back of the box, hoping to cure his spider powers, Peter Parker drinks a special mixture and wakes up a forged arm. Well, of course, like I said, that's best when he turned to a big old spider for a while, but then, you know, he turned, he would turn back, of course. But yeah, pretty cool figure. Back of the box, everybody else that's there. I didn't see the symbiote spider, man. I would have considered buying that one. And I don't think I saw the red goblin either. But this set's kind of like, eh, I don't know. I wouldn't mind collecting more of these, you know, especially if I wanted to get the Kingpin build a figure, but right now I'm just fine with this one because I don't don't have a build a figure part, so I feel it's fine on its own. So I was like, why not? Buy for the heck of it. So yeah, then, there you guys go. Now this was my uh, haul, you know, not a whole lot, mostly more Hot Wheels and figures, but you know, there was a decent amount of stuff, and I do kind of. Slightly regret I didn't pick up that Turtles 4-pack, and I probably will eventually, but I was like, eh, I'm going to wait on it for a while since it was there the last time I was there, and that was like two weeks before this video, and that's probably going to be another two weeks before I go back to Walmart again, just because, I don't know, um, hopefully they'll start stocking some more stuff again, maybe find Pat Patterson, because, you know, that still sucks I didn't find him there, and I didn't, once again didn't bar ask an employee, and man, it would be awesome if I found Elite 69. Some people are finding Elite 69 for 7 bucks, $7, that's... They had four dollars. I heard somebody found for four dollars. Like, what are they doing at Walmart? You're just giving the figures away. Like, it's already fifteen eighty eight for Elite sixty eight, but now you want to give up the next Elite set for even cheaper. And then of course that Chase Rock figure I'd like to find, but I don't know if any warrants my era have gotten those figures yet. So I don't know. Hopefully I'll see them eventually before Christmas. But until then, um, that's probably about it. I gotta save some money so I can pay some bills and I'm. Watch some auctions on eBay, and I'll keep those a secret. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's probably gonna be it for the time being. So, guys, I want to thank y'all for watching. Of course, enjoy the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Feel free to leave your comments. Of course, new channel, hit that subscribe button, and make sure when if you are subscribed, always make sure that bell is is clicked so you'll be notified of any new videos I put up. As always, I am Revolutionary Cowboy. Rock on and keep collecting.